live from Austin, where the blue-green algae on the lake is so breathtaking, this time of year you know it's going to be a great night. Now, on my scout's honor, here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Ho, 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 it's faster version. Ho, 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 Give it up, yo, give it up, yo. This is the new Tuckman, yo. Everybody, y'all cared about Santa. He died. Now, clamp your hands closed, because here comes the new Tuckman of Santa. Everybody knows. Ho, He's gone. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> he didn't. Ho, he didn't procreate. Ho, we got a bunch of ho, elves running around, ho, and ho, ho, there's ho, nobody to step up. Ho, the Santa Claus was ho, just just a movie. Ho, That's not a real contract. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Oh, Wait, ho, what? Ho, oh my god. Ho, ho, you, is there ho, a solution? Ho, What's ho, that over ho, the horizon? Ho, ho, Who is ho, that? Ho, ho, Santa's dead! Ho, ho, Santa's ho, dead! Ho, Tell ho, me about ho, ho, Hello? I'm ho, sorry, sir. Ho, ho, I'm doing the ho hos. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta <laughs> tell the story. I can't I can't help you tell the story when I'm doing the ho hos. I thought we had an agreement that I would do the ho hos and you would tell the story. If 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 I do the ho hos, will you tell the story? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I did not see that coming. <laughs> no. I won't. So, anyway, Santa's dead. Santa's dead anyway. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell the story because when I came to the studio today, I didn't realize I had a goo goo doll's hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm catching up. My hair. I don't know hair. why. I have I have very flat, straight hair right now, and and uh, I'm 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 unsettled by it. <laughs> yes. Wow. I have a Goo Goo Dolls hair. Wow. Yeah. You're looking like yeah, John Rzesnik. I know. I know. I, I'm gonna sing the City of Angels song. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to catch up. Well, don't, only, don't only try I'm, to I'm, outshine me. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. Why are, I'm, it's not a competition. It's not I was a competition out because a I'm dressed like an axe murderer, and you are not. No, you're competing against the thing I did. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> Bryce, what's our first story? Op talk. Brian is sneaking around the floor <laughs> for his glasses, which Nobody he ever know. dramatically threw away while he was I, I trying to compete with me I, I, about no, what I, we looked like. I, was, I, was, I thought I was opening up the door for you to make fun of me. Uh, no, why would I do that? Because it's a comedy show. We'll be, uh, <laughs> alternately, we're friends and I love you. I, yeah, I but that's not the point of the show. We could do that off air. Okay, yeah, you want to try it again? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. When, uh, uh, I, I couldn't do this story, Brian, because I got a Goo Goo Dolls hair. <laughs> ha! Also, you have no children. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plus. <laughs> Compared to what happened, I would have liked that. Should I keep going? Yeah. Nah. No! <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Brian. Brian, 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 Brian. No, unfortunately, uh, like, okay, what just happened in my mind was an entire flood of genuinely mean things came into my head that I think I would have gotten away with if it was just the two of us, but I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't like no, it. Oh, now you have to do it. Okay. Now you have to. Okay. Just one. Now you have to. Okay. You do. You've already revealed me to be... A low-T childless cuck. <laughs> now, 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 yeah, let's keep it going. Twit called. They would like their comedian back, only they were doing it unironically. <laughs> That's not mean. That's... It is to someone. <laughs> what? But, but, but. 
No, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Brian is making <laughs> a hand gesture that is either there for rhythmic comedic <laughs> momentum or he's saying that Twit's gay. <laughs> <laughs> or. Or. I don't know where this is going. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. I don't, I, I don't like being mean. Uh, I, 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 I can when I feel safe, when we're in the mi- we're middle not, of We're not safe now? What can I do to make it safe? Well, we're at the top is of the safe? show. Like the marathon man. Oh. Old jokes for old people. They remember them, so you do too. Pa! <laughs> You know what's funny is you said that, and I was actually, yeah, let's talk about. And then you made, oh, no, I realized I I was old. No, no, no. That was me reflexively railing against, that was me panicking against my own age. Can can, can we talk about the Marathon Man? Sure, yeah. The fact that, yeah, that, that, uh, uh, it was parodied in Gremlins (laughs) 2. We're both older than I thought. Yep. (laughs) Um, uh, no, in Marathon Man, uh, uh, Sir John Gilgood, that was his name. Uh, 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 he shaved his head in a male pattern baldness, but very clearly he has a thick head of hair. Yeah. And it's just like gray and shaved on, on there. Um, what was the Gremlins 2 thing? I th- I don't remember the exact thing, but I do remember that Marathon Man, it, it, is it safe, is a thing that a character in Gremlins 2 keeps saying, or one of the Gremlins and. Gremlins 2 keeps saying. Yeah. And I didn't know what the hell that was when I was a kid. And then I saw Marathon Man and I'm like, oh, Nazi. <laughs> Where were you on December 25th, 2022? 2022. The day Santa died. <sighs> Fuck. I think, oh, I you were at my house. We had a Christmas thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's an alibi. You're saying I killed Santa? I'm saying you, I know you're, you're for gonna, sure you're gonna you racially, didn't. You're going to racially profile me and I'm say I say, killed Santa? I'm going to say that. Wow. You're, so, you're, you're going to say. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, you're, whoa, whoa. You're, you're, what race is Santa? <laughs> you're going to say it's white on white violence? <laughs> <laughs> I was pointing at my hair for the audio <laughs> listeners. So what, what, what race is Santa canonically? Uh, what, I guess, canonically, shit. it's Sinterklaas, a uh, uh, German yeah, guy. Yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. Germanic. Problematic. Yeah. But he's been, he's been been Americanized, so he's German in the way that like people from Ohio are German. Yeah, like you know he, the people who live he, in New he Bronx roots Bronx. for the Browns. Santa roots for the Browns. <laughs> he's in the dog. Yes, pound. Okay. yeah, he's in okay. the dog pound. So, if canonically we were right to write the New Testament of Santa, Old Testament was naughty and nice. Yes. Simple Ju- judgment, judgment of a, a, a severe uh, giver or non-giver of presents. What would the hippie Jesus New Testament of Santa look like? Well, there'd just be a lot more stories, right? Like it'd be like Santa visited a child, more who bored was, children. Yeah, like like and and the child initially said, "Oh, but I want a boat," and then Santa would say, "Oh." But a boat is just a vessel for your dreams. And then you'd want a, I don't know, a a, a, a STEM kit or something like that. And lo, in the year 2024, a child did sit upon the lap at a local Macy's. (laughs) And he did ask the new Santa for a a Roblox coupon. Sure. And new Santa did say, Uh, my child... (laughs) For these blocks are row, <laughs> but so row you. <laughs> and then he disappeared into dust. Okay. Because he was going to the other light station where he was going to jump out of the top. <laughs> That's uh, a Tears of the Kingdom reference. Oh, this God. kingdom's crying, y'all. Uh, yeah. All right. No, no other thoughts on New Testament. On Santa? New Testament, Santa. Okay, so here's the thing. All right, if Santa had a New Testament, yeah, then there would be a million different stories of Santa. So number one, we'd have to have an, a, an inciting incident for 
the the new version of Santa. So if we're gonna do a New Testament, number one origin story. Yeah, is it Santa dies at the end of the Old Testament and now there's a new sexy version of Santa? No, no, Cause, no. Because no. Jesus is sexy. He dies in his early thirties. Which means that motherfucker had abs from sixteen on. I'm I'm gonna throw this out there. Uh, turns out there's life on he Mars. Was, Jesus was the baby Gronk of his time. <laughs> He was the true Riz King. Jesus just ripped up Ma Mary Magdalene? I'm yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, Earth. There are children on Mars. And then he leaves, and then somebody has to do it. And he's like, also, I've been sleeping around. <laughs> so he would, okay, so, so we're, go we're, we're doing the full. Like, son, son of Santa. Son of Santa. Son of Santa. Yeah. Sa Santa. Son of Santa. Son, son of son of Cerner Santa. Son of Cerner. Shomer Shabbos. Shomer Shabbos. I don't fucking roll. Showbiz pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so he leaves. Uh, let's say uh, King Ralph style. Speaking of Shomer Shabbos, uh, somebody finds out. Yeah. This is different from the Santa Claus because in that one, that dude murders. He Santa. accidentally kills Santa Claus. Right. Uh, yeah. In this case, somebody is. He a, like neighborhood watches Santa Claus. So uh, maybe it's a nebbish person at university who finds out that. that no, he's, so we're not going baby. Oh, no, 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 no. He's, he's, he, he's, we're not going that into the new, the, the new, okay. So the new Santa isn't, and I, I, I'm going to go with your, I'm going to go with your pitch. Yeah. But just the alt pitch that we put on the DVD commentary. Sure. Uh, 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 we're not doing the dude who nuts right as the moment that Santa leaves the orbit <laughs> creates the new Santa. Yeah. Mainly. That's fine. We're not going to do that. We're gonna go to not bad. thrust into it's it. Not bad. This is why it's on the DVD. Yeah. So, uh, okay. uh, so now we're doing somebody who is oh. in university. Uh, uh, yo, punch it in. We've got an analytics survey tomorrow at noon. I love numbers. I, 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 I was born of numbers. I am of numbers. Uh, uh, Who's your father? I don't know. But wait a minute. No, hold on. That guy's filling out numbers. Yeah. And then he's like, damn, I can't figure out these numbers. This shit is hard. Oh, God. I wish somebody could just gift it to me. Janitor walks in. Same age. Only with a weird, with a haircut that looks like yours. Yeah. A little, little bit. Goo goo flat. dolls. <laughs> goo goo dolls. Goo goo haircut. dolls. White hair. <laughs> weird green hat. Yeah. the point. That he's wearing, yeah, <laughs> and 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 says, uh, 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 "Oh, I think it's that." And then he's like, "Holy shit, poor person! Uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna get together really well." New Testament, Santa's back. So so Santa so, too. How, I love you, Santa. <laughs> how how does he find out that he's the new Santa? Because he has to, he has to not realize it for a little bit. He has to like, he has to oh, deny I don't know. The call. E yeah. You know, every, every Sunday I just like to go give gifts, and it's like uh, uh, these gifts are really bad. It's like, yeah, I really wish I had a team of possibly enslaved elves <laughs> to, <laughs> to to make them. For and meanwhile, me. Jan and her friends like, I don't know, I like working. <laughs> Well, keeps me fit. <laughs> oh, got it. So he's he's, he's alpha the, he's the Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, exactly. The yeah. alpha. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so he, uh, <laughs> don't you take this away from me. <laughs> uh, 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 and so, uh, he, all he wants to do is walk the earth and tell stories, but he just wants to also give gifts all the time. Well, no. All right. So for serializing it, then it has to be at the end of each story. He gives a gift. Okay. So he's walking the earth with his friend <laughs> who is the guy who actually makes the gift. Uh, uh, but he is just living and learning about what it means to be Santa. Because he's an incomplete Santa. Right. That's what you have to remember. This is a journey. Yeah. Right? He doesn't know shit. Right. He's a dumb piece of fucking garbage. Going he's to walking, SUNY. He's going to SUNY Buffalo. Yep. And and uh because it snows. And and so he's like, he's like, and but also that's another thing is both him and the janitor are like, I don't know. I kind of wish it would be colder. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. That's okay. a little all right, fan all right. service. No, I'm so everybody's it. like, I'm like Woo! 
at the first the first screening. On Turns out there's an internship in uh, 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 University of Montana Billings, and they're like, maybe we'll go over there. Yep. And, and then, they're like, I don't know. And then they then they go to Saskatoon, and then they and then they go a bunch like of... north and north and north and north and north, and then okay. eventually they end up in the North Pole. What's the story of the first disciple? Who's the first one that he encounters that he explains a story and then they the guy won't leave? So the first no, the first one has to be him meeting Mrs. Claus, but Mrs. Claus not being into it. And then eventually, like, so I'm thinking she's kind of like what's her butt from uh, uh Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yep. Like, like she's a little bit of a wild child. They, look, just hammered, hammered on eggnog. Bar Barbie just made just, like a hundred million drunk, dollars, so we have to have a really, really strong, yeah. like, like feminist, uh, 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 Mrs. Claus. And so, yeah, she's like really into it, but she doesn't know exactly where she's going. But she certainly has more of her shit together than Santa Claus. And uh, 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 it's it's her that is leading the way, and him that is chasing her. So this is before he finds out who he is. Yeah. What What are some of the coded language that she uses as she's drunk on the eggnog? And who did she drink under the table? Jack Frost gets drunken under the table. Okay. I was thinking like a union auto worker. Named Jack Frost? Yep. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that works. And then, uh, uh, yeah, so she's like, um, uh, 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 shot. Uh, uh, hey, you better stop making things and start learning how to drink. Yeah. Until we come up with a beggar name, uh, a beggar name, a better name. His name is Eggers. His name is Eggers Klaus. Oh, okay. Are we, are we trying to use all the IP or are we inventing new IP like where Spider Man entered the dark? Enter the Dark. Wasn't that what it's called? It was the, the Broadway show. Yeah, but they invented the a bunch of different oh, new okay. IP because they were like, no one will see a Spider-Man <laughs> Broadway show. Got it. We okay. need to invent random okay. shit. Okay. Uh, 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 you know what? I give you free reign. Just just, just give me a name. Uh, okay. So, all right. Yeah. yeah uh, so, uh, Eggers Klaus. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. Well, yeah, we'll keep him. Uh, uh, she's drinking him and, and, and uh, uh, shit, I'm trying to think of fucking shit that Mrs. Marian. Claus does that is not being married to Santa Claus. Oh, no. She, she, uh, she, uh, somebody says, I'm sorry, your tabs run up. I can't give you more credit. And then she rips open her top, shows her tits, and we're like, how about now? And she gets one more shot of it. You on. definitely haven't seen Barbie. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that would not fly in Barbie. Why? Because... It just wouldn't. We need, we're building a Mrs. Claus for a new generation. Okay. Tits out is fine, but there needs to be more of a justification than just drinking. That's a pleasure of the flesh. What, uh, what, 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 what about uh, uh, she's drinking and they're all like, these children... No, no, no. no. If she were like a, 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 a student of like art or biology or something like that and you establish it with the idea of her like having a lot of knowledge about it and then at the and then at the end yeah that she she you know like there's some dialogue about breasts or nipples or something like that and then she does it and then you get the dual thing of she's also very smart but also she gets another drink so she's smart and an alcoholic then you can get away with it. Okay. But you can't just be like, titties! And then the guy's like, -na 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 -na, and then like slides a drink down. That's, okay. So, so, that's so a little we, we established that previously she was a, had a starring role in Mary Poppins. And there we, we go. get to that yeah. moment. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! Boom. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then she drinks him under the table. I guess I'm, I'm trying to think of, 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 of Mrs. Claus shit that... Like, like can can continue to build because she's got to be the thing that Santa Claus chases up to the North Pole, and then eventually they realize that they were both supposed to be there. You mean Eggers Klaus? Oh, you want that to be Santa Claus? Well, he's inherited the role. Gotcha. And okay, needs to sorry, discover. I didn't realize that that's what Sa you were. Sa Santa Claus is already on Mars. I didn't realize that that's who you were talking about. Giving gotcha, gifts. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, 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 initially there's that, yeah. but he has to give her a gift and that's what sets us on the path, right? So 
she gets the gift of a compass, but the compass only points north because Wherever she has he always is. said, uh, uh, oh, I, 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 I want to go as far north as it can possibly be. And that's the gift is that she always needs to know that that true north is her destination. I feel like you're going back to the origin story of the original Santa Claus instead of the New Testament. Isn't that the whole point of the New Testament? Is it the same shit, but it takes longer? And there's more characters? <laughs> Bryce, what's our first story? <laughs> we were already on it. Up talk. Up talk. Yeah, that movie sucked. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I loved it. Uh, I loved it. Mostly because it was the first Nolan movie in a while that I didn't have to lie to my friends and say I got without reading the Wikipedia. Uh, I understood that movie. Woo! <laughs> I don't I mean, like, is that not a crazy thing for a Nolan movie? Normally it's like, how the fuck did Matthew McConaughey end up in the cupboard? I don't know how he ended up in the cupboard. Aliens? I think... How did Leo, he was in the fourth dream or was he in the fifth dream? Or was the first dream the fourth dream and then it was the tenth dream that he was in? I don't fucking know. I got to read the Wikipedia. I don't even know how to make a joke about Tenet. I don't even know what the fuck happened. It was like it started backwards, but then it was forwards. But then uh, uh, Denzel's kid wasn't as good of an actor as the Twilight Man. Like, like, like whatever, whatever it was, I, I was just, I didn't know what the fuck was happening. Oppenheimer character actors i didn't know who half the swarthy men were but i knew that they were very upset about various things that have resulted to the very real world development of the atomic bomb there was one thing that was set up that was confusing guess what it justified the entire third act because christopher nolan loves nothing more than ending his movie and then doing another hour of the movie but this time it made sense because it set up a justification for why you're watching this movie and not just a dramatization of the development of the atomic bomb. Counter argument. You are in a Popeye arc. Not wrong, Walter. Oh, you got him. Can we get some spinach, please? <laughs> no, all right, okay. all right, all right, go. First of all, uh, let's... Hmm, I don't know how much I hate this movie because of the clumsy Oscar bait writing and how much I hate it for the shitty implementation of practical effects when they don't do the practical effects that are implied in the movie or how much I hate it because... The dude in the seat to the left of me pulled a one-cheek sneak right at the moment the atomic bomb went off and it was fucking double-plus rotten eggs dog shit. Yeah. It was so bad, I picked up my backpack and watched the remainder of the movie from the back of the theater. Now, having said all that, I will... He, uh, he had his own Trinity test. Uh, and it uh, was successful. Unfortunately, I think he was on a date. Uh, this teenager. Oh kid. my god! Yeah, yeah. He was on a date yeah. to Oppenheimer. Uh, there were four. not Barbie. There were four of them. Uh, oh, double date. Doesn't How matter. young? Doesn't matter. How uh, young? Teenagers, young adults. Teenagers. Yeah, twenty somethings. Seventeen, nineteen. Oh, whatever. geez, poor boy. You get to this moment. The bomb is finally going off. It's yeah. quite literally the thing you've been waiting for this entire time. Yeah. And out wafts the Stank. poison. Yeah. And the I bunk sit. of 40,000 years. <laughs> Midnight <laughs> drool and demon's tears. Yes. Uh, all of that, right? Uh, also, I have beef with that scene because he decided to not show an actual atomic explosion, but instead showed uh, gasoline blowing up. I mean, lazy work. Uh, yeah, why don't you blow up an, an actual atomic bomb? Especially because we have that footage, and he's so allergic to actually re accurately representing the story uh, okay. that he insisted on doing a uh, Dukes of Hazards stunt instead. It was Oppenheimer, the stunt spectacular. <laughs> I cheated on my wife. Who? Yeah, no. Blame Oppenheimer Nolan. Did. Sorry. Yeah. Have you seen Oppenheimer? 
Br- uh, Bryce. No, I have not. I yeah, haven't. he cheats on his wife. Oh, okay. Yeah. I heard he, he uh, invents a bomb. Yeah. He also cheats his audience. Can I say? Out of can I say one of, of the a nuclear fucking he, he, here's, explosion? All right, all right. That's that's the weirdest critique I've heard of the movie so far. The one thing I will I will uh, agree with you on is that there are Batman level fan service moments in this movie. Uh, uh, one of which is uh, uh, there is a name of a very famous politician who is named in the final 20 minutes of the movie, and then the main character just looks right at the camera because a famous politician's name is said. I'm going to say it. No, 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 no. It's fine. No, no, no. Uh, uh, But the funniest, and this is something I will spoil, is that J. Robert Oppenheimer, like various different characters in our pop culture, has a catchphrase, Right? Yep. He has a catchphrase. And if you were going to see the movie, you are going to wait till the moment where J. Robert Oppenheimer oh, yeah. says, uh, I am become death destroyer of worlds. Right? I don't know whether or not I love this about the movie or I hate this about the movie, but he says it while he's dick deep in Florence Pugh with her tits out. <laughs> This stayed historically accurate period also, piece. Let, he let me, says it while Florence Pugh's tits are out and he is dick deep. You're not going far enough because the truth is they're having difficulty coming to climax and she's trying to think what's going to really be that finger up his butt. She runs over and says, what's this book? And she, and he says, it's Sanskrit. And she's like, read it. <laughs> read it. She's okay. on and top. He she's begins, on top he begins with her titties quote, out. And then she realizes he's quoting, and she's like, no, read <laughs> it. And to which he says, I am become <laughs> destroyer of worlds. It's the best movie that's ever come out. No. I love it no. so much. Uh, okay. I love it so much. Counter argument. It is filthy, dirty Oscar bait because you get to. That's s- true. Uh, that that's moment. That's true. About two. Th- uh, 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 we've talked about this before. There's one thing the Academy Awards loves, and that's giving themselves an award for hooray for movies. There's literally a moment in the middle of a debate where there's a courtroom scene and everybody's arguing and it's like, oh, so unfair. Well, wow, this, that, and the other thing. Camera zooms in on Oppenheimer who leans forward and whispers to himself, won't anyone tell the truth of this moment? Yep. Looks into camera, winks. There's also, there's a very distracting cameo from Rami Malek in a tiny, tiny role. And you're like, the fuck? They cast Rami Malek to say like two words? Yeah. And then he shows up in the final 30 minutes and he's just like, hi, I'm actor Rami Malek. <laughs> you didn't think they just cast me for that two word scene, did you? They, they, they did Here's my monologue. Too. And uh, it's a great monologue. I love the monologue. I love the movie. Oppenheimer rules. I saw it with my friend. Her, She's Dr. Oppenheimer. He's Dr. Oppenheimer. And then at the end of the movie, I made a funny joke. I looked at her and I said, this wasn't about you at all. We all laughed. <laughs> I did like uh, Huey from The Boys as uh, 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 Dr. Richard Feynman. Uh, also, Brad Boimler from uh, uh, Lower Decks. I mean, the cast was amazing. Yes. Uh, the cast was insane. You could tell how bored I was with the movie with the fact that I was trying to identify the vaguely famous scientists that I knew associated with the Manhattan Project during it. I was playing Where's Waldo? I mean, that's kind of half the movie. Half the movie is like that they're they're taking very, very seriously that all these scientists were involved in it and and how you are building stakes in which ones. I'm shocked you didn't like it. I, I, I'm I I'm actually too. shocked you I didn't am too. Like and it. I because I because I because I legit thought it was like one of my favorite Nolan movies in a while. I I was very surprised myself, and I don't know how much of it was the Oscar baitness or the fact that a dude busted rank ass farts in the middle of the explosion. I do, I do wonder whether or not the rank teenage fart that you had to smell that was just packed with Taco Bell and hormones 
uh, uh, didn't affect your appreciation of that scene because I don't think it is disconnected that you hated the visual look of that scene and that you smelled a rank teenage fart at the exact same time. I agree, and I I no because guys, I don't think if you saw the movie again that you would be like, oh, I don't notice all this Oscar bait because the Oscar bait is is there and it's pretty obvious. Uh, uh, I think that you would still notice that. I do think that you might appreciate that moment more if you had not smelled it with a bunch of rotten eggs and teenage desperation. Uh, I, I, I was disappointed in the traditional kind of... Uh, I know enough about how hydrocarbons combust that I was like, that's not what it looks what like. What a flex. <laughs> what? I know enough about how hydrocarbons explode that yeah. that's not... The way they do it. I hope someone got fired for that mistake. No, I'm, I'm just... In a way that hydrocarbons would fire. <laughs> Hail hydrocarbons. Price next time. Attenzione! Attenzione! Oh. Oh, I got a, I, I got a treat for you. All right. Oh, I got a treat for you. Uh, you, uh, you ever... Are you ever uh, finding yourself in the beautiful Italian Riviera? Uh, yeah. no. Sorry, I mean you no. have no. Have you been in the Italian Riviera? I don't even know what a hydrocarbon is. Don't be shy. Let your hydrocarbon flag fly. <laughs> You're allowed. Uh, you're allowed to know what hydrocarbons. I'm. I'm a dullard. I don't know what a hydrocarbon is. Boy, I wouldn't know a hydrocarbon <laughs> from a hydro homie. Uh, uh, Br yeah, Br so Bryce, I, I do know it's hard for me to hear you from over there. Uh, okay, if you can. Uh, well, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, what's the thing that you're supposed to when you when you go, especially do a European vacation? What's the thing you're supposed to look out for? Uh, pick pockets. pockets. You gotta look out for pick pockets. Damn, we got that perfect. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, you know they they know a thing or two about about pick pockets over there. Here's a here's how how they handle pick pockets uh, over in old Italia. Oh, okay. So we have a woman who's walking away. Ah, I, I. Oh, oh, this is somebody with the purse. Who's being called out? She's not thrilled to be on camera. Attenzione! Okay. Attenzione. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that was it? Oh. Oh no! This is a whole TikTok channel. What? Dedicated to calling out and and harassing pickpocketers in Italy. This is the. Uh, Citizens against distraction. Against distraction? Against distraction. Wait, uh, okay. And uh, it's mostly this one woman, but but they've said that there are like 70 or some people in their group. And So wait, so so people find the, the pickpockets and then just say, attention, attention, she's a pickpocket in Italian? Uh, yeah. Basically, but it's it's like the it's especially this woman. It's this one. It's this this is a voice. real life shame nun. Yeah, that runs around with yeah. TikTok. But yeah. no one, I no one subscribe. does anything. I, I, I would really subscribe. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, I tell you what. Oh. Try that in a small town. Small town like the Riviera. <laughs> Attenzione, borseggiatrici! So how many of these are there, Bryce? Of of these of these clips, yeah. Uh, well, this is a super popular channel uh, because because of having done this, the citizens against uh, distraction. They they seem to post stuff uh, pretty pretty a couple of times. A so day so they will just hang out in the same places that that these pickpockets hang out and 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 grab various tourist shit, and they will just make TikTok videos of them stealing it. Like, exactly. is there is there no police? Well, Polizia? Also, also, have they caught them in the act? Well, so, so apparently that's that's the the issue is that the police there can't really do much until you do until you get pickpocketed. 
Yeah. And so the idea here is like, hey, I could tell these are pickpockets. The problem is, and a lot of people don't realize this about Italian law, but a lot of the police people are so full on pizza. <laughs> they, they just rub their little tummies all day and they say yummy 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 pizza I also, love also pizza. they're constantly announcing that they're cops or I'm, num, 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 num. <laughs> it's a me the cops uh, I'm, I'm a i'm a i'm a cop in italy and i eat pizza yummy 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 bryce do any of these videos actually <laughs> hey, wait, hold on ask me to stop a pickpocket uh, excuse me, officer. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm from... sorry. I just ate so much pizza. Oh, Hooray oh, for me! Okay. I'm a I'm a police scene in Italy. So, somebody's stealing I love police pizza. A wallet over here. Is it a pizza? Uh, <laughs> no, it's I money. I don't care. Mon money can be uh, exchanged for pizza. Nope. Is it my money? No. Can I exchange it for more pizza? Well, you could exchange your money for pizza. Okay. I don't have any more. You want to know why? <laughs> because you ate the pizza? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Bryce. Yeah. So look at my tummy. I'm rubbing it. <laughs> none of these videos actually catch anybody in the act. No. That's that's the incredible thing. It's this woman, and it's a lot of this woman. Attenzione, Marce Like it's 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 like a refrain. It's 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 become its own sort of trend. And, and these are these are a vast different number of people. Uh, I think the most prominent one is the uh, 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 this woman. Uh, we are not seeing it. Well, just hearing it. But. Okay. Oh, 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 the main woman who's yelling. Yeah. Right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Not, and, and and so all the pickpockets are normally different. Uh, uh, that's a good question. I, 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 I'm not exactly there's sure. No, there's no recurring characters like they have at the various different uh, gas stations here in Austin with the mugshot. Uh, uh, newspapers? No, they don't try to make characters out of the pickpockets, and the pickpockets are always like very, you know, they're hiding their hat, they're hiding their face, and they're just trying to walk away. Yeah, There's, there usually hasn't been. Um, right. Like, I like, wonder if they're charming criminals, like in White Lotus. Oh, maybe. Bryce. Yeah. Yes, Bryce. What is the lowest viewed video that you could see on the front page of this channel? Uh, the lowest one, if I go above the fold here, it would be 303,000 views. Ah. Hmm. What's the highest viewed video? That I can see? Hmm. Uh, I, I guess I'd say 7.2 million views. God damn! It's quite a track record. Uh, Bryce, you've posted uh -oh. stuff uh -oh. on uh -oh. TikTok. Uh-oh. 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 Guys, yeah. guys, guys. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I think I smell it. <laughs> I think I smell it. On the monitor. Brian! Are you fooled? <laughs> oh. Are you, are you, whoa. Are you, well, hold on. What is this? Are you fooled? So there's no actual capturing of a crime on this channel. They don't arrest anybody these are just citizens yes oh and yet all of the videos are in the six digits and above oh. rice in our experience we went from 15 million views on one video and 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 the next one did how well uh, uh, generally there'd be a bit of a drop off. Yeah. After the first one. Right. Yeah, it, I seem to remember going from a million plus views to 800 views. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hot and cold, uh, on TikTok for sure. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I mean, this is a big deal. Like this is a major, it was it's on a big the deal, new, Brian. It's on Newsweek. This is a huge, there's Newsweek covered it. Someone made a remix? News? They remixed it, Brian. <laughs> they remixed it. They remixed No, oh, surely, surely you believe that this is correct and absolutely as it's represented now. Right, Brian? Right, Brian? Are you fooled or are you not fooled? I'm not fooled. Hey! I'm not fooled. I'm not fooled. 
We uh, need a sounder. We need a sounder for Brian is not fooled. If you are listening to this right now and you want to make us a sounder for Brian is not fooled, then send it on in because I feel like we need to. We am need I to crazy get, on this one or no? Because it seems like the easiest way to do this is to just record a bunch of fake of these mu- and then just delete all the ones that don't take off. As, as much as as much as I like to make a bit out of it, I'm on your side on this one. Hey! Justin's not fooled. I'm on. I'm on your side. I am buying your newsletter on this is this is some this is some uh, uh, fakey fakey wakey bullshit. Uh, I'll I'll if I gave this the most skeptical view. Yeah, I would say. What's... Also, I don't trust guineas. <laughs> you don't trust what? Uh, uh, on. Uh, Four, <laughs> five. Uh, I gotta count to ten for this one. Holy Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Let ethnic storytellers tell ethnic stories. <laughs> Jeez. All right. And uh, I, I think what <laughs> I don't even know what I stepped in, but I love it. <laughs> you re- okay, I don't. That's great. Uh, <laughs> I think what happens is like, but I, I think they find they do find pickpockets and then like follow them for a long time and then make a lot of clips out of it. Only because I do think I feel like I see similar faces multiple times, but uh, they're strangers. I don't, I, uh, who knows? But uh, I, I, I mean, pickpocketing is a big deal. It's a big problem. Pickpocketing is a big deal. And also, boy, do people love that righteous feeling that a pickpocket is being called out. Maybe an enterprising Italian woman decides, oh, I think there's some money in the sovereign TikTok wealth fund <laughs> that I can that I get their golf that I get that I can procure for myself. And all I gotta say is uh uh uh, uh you know uh, Antonioni, why don't you just walk her down to the street and I yell it and and next thing you know they're rolling in dough. I'm with you, Brian. Conspiracy Busted. When it comes to great night, we are not, not fooled. Bryce, next topic. <laughs> oh, where's my? <laughs> where's my? Oh, sorry. I... Uh, play it again. Should have one call. The in. young youngs in Austin. Oh, the young young. We've gone so this this A block has been so fucking long. So I don't even know if there's a lot to I mean, talk about here. We did write a New Testament to we the did, Santa. We did. wrote a New Testament. <laughs> I was out and out racist. Like there's just like there's a lot that's been going on. That was shocking. Do we want to skip this one? We got no, no. My my little nephew and niece and my brother and my mom are coming into town. It's a whirlwind seventy two hours that they're gonna be hanging out and 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 that's that's pretty much it. But it's so fucking hot. That that we got to figure out a thing to do with the kids that is not outside. We would love for them to be outside and just running themselves ragged like children do. But uh, we got to figure out this out here. Discovery VR is let's go places Austin. They could be in Austin, experience that on the Oculus Quest with their hosts Justin and Brian. You want to know what's so funny? Is one of the things that actually is going to happen is that we're going to go to caverns and i was like i was like oh, let's go to the natural bridge caverns like like we did and let's go places sponsored by the brand new rav4 hybrid let's go places uh but uh uh no it's too far so they're gonna go to the other one that's north of round rock in oh. georgetown uh, uh in inner space. inner space inner space is that better than have, have you been to natural both, bridge Brett? i've been to both just uh, different it's just different it's a little bit smaller smaller yeah, but they're small. I mean, yeah. So yeah. like that, that look big to them. Yeah, because they're tiny and and like they want to do some shit that they can't do in Florida. Right. So go underground is one of those things. Go on, there's they, they they haven't figured out underground in Florida. Right. It's all just cigarette butts. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There's no rock. It's all pretty much just Miller Lite cans <laughs> and. Broken dreams. <laughs> now I want to. I want to reimagine the uh, 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 the Nautilus, the twenty thousand leagues under the sea at Disney World, <laughs> <laughs> only authentic to Florida. It's authentic, yeah, <laughs> but it's like old beer cans yeah. and like uh, 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 <laughs> Playboy <laughs> magazines and whatnot. You can see on your right. <laughs> 
a mahi mahi stuck in a six pack ring. <laughs> oh. Would would that be a good way for Disney to retaliate against DeSantis? Is to just like just make it all blackmail material on that ride? Uh, I think the 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 biggest revenge that uh, Disney can get on DeSantis is him running his current campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it seems to be working really well for 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 them right now. Yeah, actually, I, I I'm not familiar. Mi- Mi- Mickey sends his regards. <laughs> what, 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 if, 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 uh, keeping it short, wait, what have I missed while I've not been paying attention? <laughs> to quote Jay Sherman, "It stinks." <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> got it. Yeah, uh, 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 he's not doing well, and Donald Trump is almost assuredly going to be the nominee. And has a better than 40% chance of being the president again. <gasps> get ready. Mm. Get excited. More bullshit that we thought we were done with. Woo! What about mini golf? Mini golf is good for the kids. Mini golf. Yeah. Mini golf. We can do. Wait, is there indoor mini golf though? Well, no, we can't do, we can't do Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Peter too hot. Too hot. A, it's too hot. And B, like that shit is chaotic. I don't know if they still Well, talking to the mic. Talking to the microphone. We gave you a microphone. I, I am talking into the microphone. Can you hear me? Yes, we're yes. good. What do you got? What do you got? Uh, there's a place called Main Event that at least used to have black light mini golf. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they still do. That um, might be because they're 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 young. They're like under five. So oh, or maybe they like well, maybe then, six six and below. I think give them like, some quarters and take them into Toy Joy. Yeah. Well, apparently the the girl really is into music and is very excited for karaoke, which we have in our house. So there's going to be a lot of like in-house stuff and we're right next to a trampoline place. So that, that'll that be able to wear them out. Uh, what What's the best bowling spot here in town? Oh. You're asking me? I mean, there's the one right across Nobody the street did. from okay. me. Yeah, right. Maybe right. you can take yeah. them to main event. Uh, 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 maybe go to uh, uh, Austin Football Club. Austin football. Club. Oh, the MLS Soccer. thing. Yeah, yeah, they don't have any attention for that. Oh, they're okay. they're kids. Barton Springs, but in the morning. Uh, Museum of Ice Cream. Mm. Museum of Maybe. the Weird. I don't of think the they have Instagrams yet. I feel like Instagrams are are a pretty big key to enjoying that. All right, Bryce. Next topic. Uh, last topic. Thomas J. Henry dead okay this is gonna be local. I don't give a shit if you understand the context. I I already wonder. Is Thomas J. Henry dead? I, I I asked that, and I will fill everybody in. Thomas J. Henry is a very, very well-advertised attorney in Texas, but every time that they do the ads, uh, they're always of him, always in black and white, and always in still frame, to the point where I don't know... If he were to die, they could just keep running those ads because that's the brand name and and he's not doing the cases anyway. He's got other lawyers that are doing these cases. Uh, 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 so I, I saw, I lived next to one of his offices and I was driving by and I'm like, is that motherfucker dead? And I asked more seasoned Austin people that are here, do you know for sure he's not? Well, Keep in mind, unlike our friend David Comey, who yeah. has, we've seen his billboards as an institution for 15, 20 years. Thomas the K. attorney Henry's, that rocks, yeah, yeah is, is Thomas David K. Comey. Thomas uh, billboards are fairly recent. I want to say five or six, maybe seven years old. Um, so he's a carpetbagger. Uh, you know what? Maybe so he was here all the time. I, I know that uh, I saw Lorenz and Lorenz before him, and then his showed up. Now you got the guy who's... Four, Give, four, four, the, four, four. The intentional downward pointing so as not to be perceived as a Seagile. <laughs> yeah. Four, 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 four uh, gesture. Um, oh, what? Speak up. You got to talk right into it. Didn't four, 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 forty, four, forty, four get a Mr. Gaddy's pizza delivered? Call four five nine twenty two twenty two and get a Mr. Gaddy's pizza delivered. Well, then what was the f- oh? Just remember real the number cheese, four. Real real hots. <laughs> real taste is what we've got. Real service. 
guaranteed. <laughs> Real fast. Your first Mr. Gaddies. Won't be your last. So Damn call 459-2222 and get a Mr. Gaddies pizza delivered. I hate you. <laughs> there we go. Only real Austinites know. <laughs> Dead? No, just just Dead? Cut. I think so. All right, what what is it? Dead or not? Is Thomas J. Henry dead? Or no. is he just a figment of our imagination? It's a brand. Is he a I, brand? I, I, I think he's a, a Why brand. doesn't he move in his commercials? It's all still pictures in black and white. Yeah, because you, he'll fall apart. You know is what he, was he paper mache? Robot. You know what is definitely a brand? Uh, is the Dave Lennox face uh, that the dude with the crossed arms and the yep. crazy golf hat and the mustache? That is a fictional character that they invented years after the Lennox brand existed, and then they just franchised it out all across the country. So if you ever see somebody's installing a thing, it's like Dave Lennox guarantees it. Uh, they hired Dave Lennox's all across the country. Damn. Maybe maybe that's what it is for uh, Thomas uh, J. Henry, TJH. Yeah, I do know this much. Well, what if he's the new Santa Claus? <laughs> hey, everybody! Patreon.com. <laughs> he, he's slash, alive. He was what? at Wimbledon. He was at Wimbledon. Yeah. Well, he's a, <laughs> he's or, he's or, kind or, of a fucking cat him. daddy. Holy shit! Yeah, he's kind of got a silver fox sort of thing. Looking he on. does look like he's. I, I'm uncomfortable. He by looks like this. somebody who would get a five point five million dollars settlement out of a truck accident. Yeah, holy shit! Yeah. He looks so. This is a weird man. This all right. Thomas J. Henry's Instagram next week on Great Night. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com. This is like the moment at the end when you find out that the villain's still alive. Like you're like, like, oh my god, there's a whole new story we need to investigate. Patreon.com slash Great Night. Brian, how is your evil plan working? <sighs> the evilest plan? Yes, because now we have now two weeks in a row in the free feed had a tantalizing tease of our bonus episode that people can listen to just just the tip many promise only we deliver giving you just the tip of our bonus i mean i'm enjoying torturing everybody who isn't a patron who hasn't gone to patreon.com slash great night who are slowly realizing that the best part of our entire channel is the great night bonus episodes mm-hmm yeah, I'm okay with this. Well, how about you join that club? Patreon.com slash great night. Me right now? Live on the air? No, I'm you're right. on the show. You don't need to do it. Well, I mean, it seems like I should. Do you not subscribe to our Patreon? I don't speak your language, sir. Wow. Patreon. Is this a bit that you just realized you have to now make real? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> great night. Okay, I did it. That's that's how fast and easy it is. Yep. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. That's the speed in which you can complete the entire process. Patreon.com slash great night. Hey, Bryce. from Thomas J. Henry. We I'm got a dead. game. <laughs> I'm not dead. Wink. Just <laughs> 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 rocking on his grave. He just flies like a ghoul out from <laughs> Ted Lorenz standing on the grave. <laughs> uh, 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 the four guys saying, remember the number four. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gaddy's catering. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Comey's rocking. There it is. Peter Pan golf. Yep. Yeah. It's Kaiser Soze. Uh, we got a game here for you. It's a new game I like to call Off to the Mascot Races. Woo! Woo! First off, uh, thank you to Jake Schneider for sending this one in. Uh, I've got a list here of various baseball teams from across these United States. I want you all to guess what they are, uh, what they have uh, racing in their mascot races in between the innings. Science will determine. Are, 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 you, are you familiar with this concept, Brian? Mascot races? I'm, I'm, uh, do, do da, my friend. Do da. Do, <laughs> do da? Do da? I don't care that went right away. You want to know what? I love. No, you want to know what? 
Stick with this forever. Okay. <laughs> Stick with this. Whenever you don't know a thing, just start laughing and say, do da, <laughs> no, my, my friend. friend. Do da. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to give you the name of a team. You're going to tell me uh, <laughs> who the competitors are in their mascot races. Close Brian to- is now taking a knee oh, like boy. Colin Kaepernick because <laughs> he is so delighted by the idea that he is now the wizened character in a movie who has a catchphrase whenever he doesn't know what's going on. I'm also, I'm also very nah. proud that Bryce is so professional that he's keeping the show going. Can we <laughs> zoom in? All right, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Let's get one gif. One gif of da, my friend, da. Okay. Uh, 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 just right into the camera, uh, uh, just so we can have it. We uh, Everybody, get your clippers ready. Uh, 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 zoom right in. Uh, uh, hey, Brian, do you know what mascot races are? <laughs> da, my friend. da. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, there good. We go. Moving on. Okay. Uh, so you're you're all gonna guess uh, every round, and the closest without getting over, uh, or the closest as determined by science, will get the point. Brett, do you mind keeping score? Yes. Would you like to play? <laughs> huh. Uh-huh. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, all righty. Well, here we go. Brian versus J- uh, Justin. That's the part where you forgot your name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, if- I just wanted to rip off your tagline because it's so fucking good. <laughs> Do not, I'm my not, friend. Yeah, I won't. I won't, though. You good. Go. All right, Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. <laughs> also, I'm going to whip your fucking ass at this game because I actually know this. Oh, really? Because I, yeah. still, I still don't even know no, what the I, game I, is. Yeah. Well, some of us are. So uh, I'm going to give you the name of a baseball team like this one, the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, they have a mascot race during their baseball games. Tell me. Who is racing in their race? What is the type of mascot that it is? Justin, we'll start with you. Closest as determined by science. All right, how about this? I'm going to say it, Brian, and you tell me whether or not I'm lying. Oh, my God. What a stunt. (laughs) What a stunt that will probably prove a very effective. So you don't you don't have to even know what they are. Yep. You just need to read me. and Tell me whether or not I am lying or I, or I know the right one. Hey, Justin, tell yeah. me about the Milwaukee... Mil- <laughs> Three, two. Tell me about the Milwaukee Brewers and their mascot race. So you would think that they are a bunch of beers because it's the Brewers, right? And they do have a guy that used to, uh, uh, whenever they hit a home run, their mascot used to slide into a gigantic beer. But it's not. It's actually a bunch of bratwurst that all run around, and it is the winning sausage or bratwurst. It was some kind of encased meats that all run against each other, and then one of them wins at the end. So, so we are talking about a moving your body real fast thing. A race. Right? Not, a, yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> not a race. <laughs> That's of mascot. That's what I was. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because you did start by saying you might think it's beers, but it's not. It's uh. But yes. No, thing. I mean, there are a certain class of mascots. <laughs> yeah. One might say a race. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that are all physically racing against each other. You know, have you ever been to a baseball game, Brian? <laughs> uh, 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 catchphrase. Catchphrase. Okay. Uh, 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 catchphrase. Uh, catchphrase. Uh, was my catchphrase? God damn it. Okay. Uh, Duda. <laughs> Duda. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Milwaukee <laughs> Brewers, uh, it's brats. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'll believe it. You believe I'm telling the truth. It is not beers. The Brewers are not racing beers. No, they're racing brats. Because what does beers go with? Brats. Fair point. Duda, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I and I ironically love it so much. We were looking for a sausage race. Hey! That's a point to both of them. That's a point to Justin. And no, Brian. no, no, no. Brian gets it. I have to try and fool Brian. Oh, uh, okay. That's Perfect. the new game because yeah. I actually know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, Justin. Uh, I guess I'll just throw it over to you here. What about the Pittsburgh Pirates? 
So the Pittsburgh Pirates, their mascot is a bird. And so you would think that it would be something pirate related. Like maybe there'd be a peg leg or a bottle of rum or something like that. But that would neglect the fact that there is a large Polish population in the Western Pennsylvania region and pierogies race against each other. Justin, I feel like you tipped your hand because I know you're a big fan of the Penguins, Pittsburgh's hockey team, and I feel like you're trying to throw me off the scent. I say nuda. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think that it is pierogies? Do you I know do what not. a pierogi is? Yeah, it's a it's a little itty bitty tiny boy dick wrapped in a bun. A boy dick? Wait, wait, wait you call that a man dick? <laughs> Made out of potatoes? Wait, is a pierogi not a hot dog in a bun? No, no, no. that's a kolache. <laughs> You're thinking of a kolache? Kolache. Pierogi. Yeah. No. Klobosnik. Of pierogies are <laughs> goy latkes. Uh, you're, I, the Jews got it. <laughs> Move it on. I bet you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we've got your answer. Brian said that that was hogwash. That was actually. Bam. Completely <laughs> correct. You want to see it? You no, see it? no. I got it right. I told you the right thing, and That's you right. didn't fucking believe me. Uh, okay. Well, no, Justin gets the point on that one. Woo! You want to see it? Yeah. yeah. Show me your pierogi. Like four way tie and a five way tie in the pierogi race this year. This is to decide the whole thing. Potato Pete out of nowhere, <laughs> closing the gap. Sauerkraut Saul is in the lead. And a controversial finish. Who breaks the tape? That's all I want. Somebody know. punched Who someone. Oh, the no! Tape? Cheese. I think some of these are like fixed. Saul came up short, but <laughs> oh, hashtag not fool. Operation Center and the uh, Allegheny Health Network Supermo shows that the. There we go. It was pierogi. Yeah. Took I told you. Yeah. I tried to tell you. But you didn't believe me. <laughs> Why didn't you believe me? The fuck is a pierogi? Again, it's like a, it, it, it's like a fried potato dumpling. So, like, like the uh, hash brown at, at a McDonald's? No. No, no, no. Okay, think, think, all right. I heard judgment. Uh, think more like, 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 like a Chinese a dumpling. dumpling. Yeah. Hey, we got some images on screen. Yeah, like, like a pot sticker. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. that looks good. It seems You're delightful. Delicious. Yeah. All dumplings are. There we go. All right, so for our third round here, uh, Justin... We're starting with you. Tell me about the Washington Nationals. What mascot do they make race a running race during their game? So the Washington Nationals, formerly the Montreal Expos, when they used to be the Montreal Expos, they had a lot of the iconography of Montreal race. So they decided when they moved to Washington, they would keep the same idea. And that makes more sense because there's more national monuments in Washington, D.C., which means the Washington Monument, Lincoln from the Lincoln Memorial, all these things, these iconographic elements of Washington, D.C., they all race against each other. Justin, put as plainly as I can, I want this to be true so hard, I must insist it's hogwash. <laughs> because if it's true, then we live in the best timeline. Let's find out. All right, we're gonna find out here. In fact, you want to watch it? You yeah, wanna, let's watch it. Why don't, yeah. why don't we just watch it for the? That'll be the reveal. That'll be like the fun reveal here. Uh, here we are. George is out of the gate first. Here's A. Yeah. No way! It's, it's George president. No, you Teddy get it. You get it. It wasn't the monument. It's, it's the actual Teddy's president. The okay. I don't know where That's Tom a point is. for Brush. He's good race right now because Teddy has got a huge lead. Teddy as they pass the Nationals is he gonna is he gonna he's fall right, right at the end? Corner. Let me guess. He's gonna take the win. He's gonna walk away with a victory. Nobody's gonna fall stop down. him, but he's slowing down. It's all rigged. He's getting kind of hungry. Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking called it. Oh, here comes the pizza. Oh, Jesus. Media. Media. Yeah, not I think fooled. some of these fuckers Hashtag are rigged. Not fooled. On the, ground. the winner's going to be Tom for the special delivery for Nats fans. 
There we so go. I believe that they had a streak <laughs> with that one where Teddy Roosevelt did not win for like four years. And then they, they had him break the streak at the like, you know, I don't know, some random ass game last year. I love the fact that in the same game, we could have obviously rigged events like this. And yet the other game happening at the same place at the same time requires a congressional hearing <laughs> over who's doping. When they start betting on the mascot races, then Congress will get I, I, I'll <laughs> bet Las Vegas will take that bet. I, I bet you Teddy Roosevelt was running Hunter Biden's IRS records. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he got distracted eating a pizza. Oh, no. Oh, he ripped a giant fart sitting naked in front of his laptop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's our third round. Brett, really quickly, what is the score? Really quickly, we've got uh, <laughs> we have Brian with two points. We have Justin with one. Yep. There we go. All right, it's time for round four here. Justin, tell us about the Atlanta Braves. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Atlanta Braves obviously fraught. You would not imagine that you would have American Indians running against each other. So they went a little off the board. They don't have multiple people running. They instead have a legitimate race. Like a no bullshit. Everything else here is pro wrestling. They have a dude named Frozone who lets somebody from the crowd get a quarter of the race head start, and then he runs them down and beats them 99% <laughs> of the time. No multiple mascots. One dude, a legitimate dude, who runs really fast and is named Frozone. Justin, I believe you. <laughs> oh, zippity D <dee> to me. <laughs> uh, specifically because uh, it would be horrible if you made that up. And if it turns out to be something that you made up live on the internet. Mm -hmm. All of that. Would so be you on believe you. that Frozone is a real athlete who, for the 80 something games that the Atlanta Braves play, runs faster than a real person in the crowd. <laughs> and his name is Frozone. Ah, <laughs> uh, if it's that's a thing you believe. <laughs> You are looking into my eyes and you are believing what I say. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yep. Insurance liabilities <laughs> and all. <laughs> the man whose name is Frozone <laughs> does this 80 something times a year. Uh, uh, yep, yeah. yep. All right, all right. Well, uh, there we go. Justin said Frozone, and Brian said that that was true. Well, let's take a look here. Why don't we? At the clip. Thank you to MLB for this. Do you see that little dot? Man. That's the free. Not Frozone. Oh, Fuck you. Fuck oh, you. God. <laughs> You're doing the technicality bit. Ah. <laughs> uh... No, you should get it. Okay. I actually forgot his name was the freeze. Uh, uh, the and freeze. that is not but even the one I was looking for. Yeah, but he is, he is dressed like Frozone. Also, I noticed that the person from the audience took the fall. I guess that's a tradition in the races is to fix the face. I, I, yeah, to I, face I, I, I know right that the they end. have done a lot of like promotional things where they'll let the like intern from the radio station run against the freeze. And like like sometimes they can actually beat him. But uh, uh, yeah, no, that dude legit fucking runs every time. And I don't know how many freezes there are, but like that one's that, fast. That, 
that fucker runs really, really fast. Like it is Liquid a legit nitrogen. athlete. Yeah. Uh, we we were actually uh, the alternative that we were looking for, which is an actual mascot race, uh, is uh, uh, Power Tools, the Home Depot tool race. <laughs> oh, man. oh no, they're beating oh, up man, on a drill. So I, oh my god, they just had a gang fight. <laughs> yeah, no, I I have to take the L on this one. If if if, if, if no, that's no, no, an actual no no no, no they do Braves. both. They, they do they, both. I yeah, think the, yeah, yeah. the tools is a little older, uh, but uh, but you're right, Justin. Uh, I found that in my research, so I'm gonna give that point to Brian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got it. There we go. All right, let's go to the next one here. Uh, Justin, tell us about the Houston Astros. Now, this one you should know. I should, right? Should. You should know this one. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody should know this one. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't even <laughs> say it. You already know it, right? Oh, you don't you don't know it? No, I know it. <laughs> this is the this is the one I get to dunk on you. No, 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 no. I know this one. So <laughs> you'd be surprised. <laughs> I don't no, know why I became an 80s just, comic. He just <laughs> broke the fucking mic. He took it off. just hulked out and broke the mic God off of this we hand. Bring now, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> why are we talking about the Houston Astros? <laughs> I mean, after all. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Uh, Houston Astros. Houston Astros. The Houston Astros have a very, very unique uh, uh, mascot race. They are from Minute Maid Park, and so therefore they have all various different kinds of citruses. Oranges, lemons, the other one. <laughs> they all run against each other nightly in the Minute Maid Park. Uh what did they do back before it was called Minute Maid Park? Back when it was called Enron Field. Cook the books. <laughs> <laughs> they, had, they had a bunch of accountants running to see how fast they could misrepresent various <laughs> different parts of their uh, uh, accounting. And before that, when it was at the Astrodome? They uh, uh, lost Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Like Stupid references. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna disagree. Circle takes the square. All right. What? Uh, uh, I'll tell you that that you're, that you're correct, Brian. What do you think it actually is? Uh, do you know what it actually is? I seem to remember the mascot is uh, just a giant dipshit with a baseball for a head. Okay. So he probably tries to <laughs> outrun being hit. By well, no, I, 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 I will say in general, the, the, the races are not the mascot. They very rarely are the mascot and the things that are doing the racing yeah. connected. They're usually some element of iconography to the city itself. Usually. Or, or the, the, the in, in the home Depot example, it's, you know, the fact that like Atlanta is a, you know, the, the home of Home Depot, the corporate home of Home Depot. Oh, there you go. OK. Uh, in that case, if we're going to contextualize everything, I'll say uh, uh, it's a race against a character called the Flood. And what you must do is oh. outrun him as the hurricane comes in. Jesus. Fucking <laughs> Christ. He could have he could have said it was he could have done a Katrina thing. Zippity A. Zippity A. Good <laughs> 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 Uh, well, let's uh, let's play it here. Uh, let's see what actually is. Can you make it out? Those are Taco Bell hot sauce packets. Damn! <laughs> Taco Bell hot sauce! Oh my god! Well, I no wonder. I... Well, no wonder Bryce's bigger got stiff on that one. <laughs> Also, Bunch of Taco uh, Bell hot sauces I, running around I, I, the bases. I, I don't know. Well, I mean, first of all, it's bullshit that mild won. Uh, the uh, uh, but 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 I I don't know that I've ever been more proud of Houston. Fucking mild. What's wrong with there's mild is fine. Diablo should have just jumped out. <laughs> I don't like Diablo. I like hot. I I do too. But hot. Diablo is the wild card. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't either. Too unpredictable. I don't trust him. Good old hot. 
Nothing beats hot. What? <laughs> what about fire? Oh shit! Wait, no, I like fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fuck hot. <laughs> fuck hot. Hot sucks. Fire's the best. All right, uh, let's do uh, uh, two more here. Uh, hey, I'm living moss over here. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> uh, Justin, why don't you tell me about the Arizona Diamondbacks? Who, who is running in their mascot races? Can, uh, uh, real qu- uh, quick side jag, yeah. uh, sidebar if I may. Um, can, we, can we do a two-hour special in which we enact the trial against the uh, Taco Bell dog, the Chihuahua? Can I defend him? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to prosecute him? No, I want to be the this judge. This sweet dog? I, I, wait, who wants to prosecute Wait, you don't even want dog? to play? No, no, no. You just want to be the ref? No, no, no. I, 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 I think all of us should play, uh, but, but, but we but should all have care. So what do you think the case against the dog is? Oh, no, no, no. I'm in favor. I'm all, Spoiler alert. I'm going to rule in favor of the dog. And, and Can we just and celebrate the, the dog then? I, we, we could if he was still around. Damn. R.I.P. to a real one. <laughs> okay. Can we, can, can, I love can, that dog. That do dog like was, specials, it was a huge can, part can of my childhood. Can we do pay-per-view specials where we just act out? It's fine. Just <laughs> put a pin in it. Do a dog. I feel like we just realized that we are both emotional about this dog. Yeah, uh, no, I really am. I, it's bullshit that they got. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The woke came for my dog. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> You know, we used to be a proper country before the Clinton kill team came in and eliminated all the joy in our nation. We used to have a dog, friends. We used to have a mascot for our own. He used to say, Yo Quiero Taco Bell. Louder, louder. (laughs) You're way too far from that mic for no, any of this doing, to be No, Bryce, oh. he, no, he's exactly where he needs to be oh. because he's doing an impression. Never. Go, go, no, 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 do it. No, no, do it, do it, do it. Bryce is an idiot. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I know. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Of course. Nobody thinks that the Gordita campaign was anything less than brilliant. Oh, I We about. all know... That the Gordita changed the game. The idea of it wasn't a soft taco. (laughs) It was not a hard taco. It was a quilt. I snurdly, I know, I know. (laughs) (laughs) It was a warm quilt for your mouth. And when you ate more than four of them, you would elicit the kind of fart that would disgust Brian Brushwood in the middle of Oppenheimer. (laughs) You would knock three stars from his review. We'll be right back. Bump. (laughs) There we go. What were we doing? Uh, Yes, uh, the Diamondbacks. (laughs) (laughs) I had an Oppenheimer moment. Sorry about that. We're looking for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Justin, uh, what do you know about their bad Snakes. (laughs) Diamondbacks are snakes. All these snakes are racing. There's different kinds of snakes. None of them are... I, I don't know if Diamondbacks is the kind of snake. All these different snakes. <laughs> Who's going to win tonight? <laughs> yeah, seems a bit on the nose. I'm going to say no. Okay. I, think, I think it's more likely. A, Your funeral. A, I think it's more likely a, 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 the five guys from five guys running. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, here's a clip. Things are settling down after the Legends race, and I don't want to spoil Baxter's birthday, but there was an incident. Few incidents. Well, he had. He Their mascots are Diamondback Legends, yeah. so including anyway, Randy Johnson, Mark Grace, Grace Luis Gonzalez, and Matt Williams. And Just old baseball players. And what I like is that they had to the cut win. away from the replay. The A bizarre the lack of uh, imagination. Yeah. Or diversity. 
Oh, and then, and then their actual mascot won. That's right. <laughs> you know, when the booking gets too complicated, <laughs> nobody can follow it. Keep the premise simple. Yeah, That's a point for Briar. Huzzah! Uh, All right, uh, going into our final round, Mr. Confetti, what is our score? Well, Bryce, Brian has done surprisingly well this time with four points, and Justin, buddy, you only got one. Yeah, I know. Oh. I know. I know. It's the broken clock strategy. This knowledge has cursed me. <laughs> Learn to lie better. I know. Yeah. All right, so for our final round here, uh, this one's worth uh, 10 points. Oh. Whoa. So it's still anybody's game. Uh, we are going to be talking about bah, 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 the West Virginia Black Bear. Mm. Uh -oh. West, well, this is something everyone knows. <laughs> this is, of course, the Class A team from Morgantown, West Virginia. Of course, Virginia. the Class A team from Morgantown, West Virginia, home of the Mountaineers. But the Black Bears are who we're talking about right now. That's right. Brian, mm. what do you know about West Virginia? <laughs> Duda. Duda. Did you know that the famous John Denver song that closes every University of West Virginia Mountaineers football game is not about West Virginia? It is about the western part of the state of Virginia. Really? Mm hmm Which is why the Black Bears have four John Denvers. <laughs> Racing against each other every single night. Four John. Even four John <laughs> Denvers. So uh, th this has been a long story. Rocky Mountain High John Denver. <laughs> yeah. West Virginia John Denver. Yeah. The other one. <laughs> and the final dude. The yeah. one who crashed into the water. <laughs> All right. Oh, he oh, says, oh, come oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian. <laughs> Justin said four different John Denvers. <laughs> For 10 points in the game, do you agree or not? <laughs> you couldn't even summon Country Boy that got him a Country Boy? Or... That's fine. That's fine. Uh, How do you think the other one was? <laughs> jet Plane. Yeah. Yeah. Jet Plane, Country Boy, West Virginia, Rocky Mountain High. Those are the four John Denvers. They run against each other every goddamn night. Boy, are they speedy. Oh, they're moving. Oh, they're move they're Denver and they're John so fast you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Justin. Yeah. I believe you 100 percent What? Totally real. Wow. What? Let's find out. Remember, fans, you can stop by the nearest concession stand and purchase it during this pepperoni roll. All season long here at the ballpark. With such flavors as pepperoni and cheese patty, hot pepper Hank, and double stuffed Steve, we were looking for the great pepperoni roll race. Oh. Folks, take a look at those beautiful, beautiful pepperoni. Right. Yeah. Look at them roll. Ooh. Oh, look at that roll. Ooh, look at that roll. What's, what's really going on there, hey. pepperoni mania? Yeah. They look like bananas. Look at that roll. <laughs> yeah, I guess I lost. No, you win. You called uh, my. You, oh wait. Oh, you said I, I, uh, you agreed. No, no, I believed you. He believed Fuck, you. Yes. Yeah. Which Even in the oh, case man. of a fairly ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> premise <laughs> that was being adjusted yeah, based no, on your I, suggestion. Uh, I, yep. Uh, country. Plenty river. of sunshine coming my way. <laughs> With a score of eleven points, your winner is Justin Romero. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh. Well earned. Well earned. Thank you to Jake Schneider for this. If you've got one, uh, if you've got a game you'd like to send in, send it to our email address, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this. We got a bunch in lately, and so we're going through these. This is our second one in a row. We did Biocos last week. We did Jake's this week. Thank you, everybody, who's sending in uh, emails, games, all sorts of stuff. Uh, continue to do so. Thank you. What up, dog? <laughs> Come on. Big, big night. 
Big night. I feel like we learned a lot. We did. We did. Uh, Brett, what did we learn? Well, we learned uh, three things tonight. We learned that mild hot sauce should win nothing. Yeah, no, that's True. that's a fact. Yeah, fuck mild. Yeah, uh, we that. learned that uh, Thomas J. Henry is a law daddy. He is. And alive. Yeah. He's alive. Alive, alive daddy. is a law daddy. He's alive. Allegedly. He's at, he's at Allegedly. Wimbledon just crushing. Crushing it. Yeah. And we've learned that them hosts can pitch in their sleep. Oh, it's been a great night. Can we claim to like our four favorite local lawyers that we're doing Austin's hottest lawyer and see if we could trick them into oh, showing do up? Oh, a, do some kind of like... Yeah, the three of us can sit a behind a bench and judge somebody and have them... See how they like it for a change? Preen Although, for, actually, they get judged a lot now that I think about it. That's their whole they're thing. They're literally their entire yeah, thing. No, that's what they yeah. do all the time. Okay, put a pin in that one. I think... Still a great night. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bad, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater Great night. <laughs> Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>